today on Kettle Bottom Outdoors, we are filleting a beautiful big eye tuna that we just caught offshore, and we're going to take you through the step-by-step -step process and how we do it here on Stella. So when we first uh, when we first landed this fish, we had to blood the fish to get rid of all the, the blood. Then from there, the head comes off and all the guts come out, and we pack the cavity of the fish full of ice. And then from there, it is then put into the cooler and it's completely surrounded um, with ice. Uh, making sure that the bottom of the cooler is uh, drained because you don't want the fish sitting in fresh water. We start with the collar, make an incision right behind the collar towards the head, down towards the belly. Here we got the beautiful collar. Next, we'll start down the bloodline, right dead center of the fish. I like to try to get it in one clean cut so it doesn't look like Freddy Krueger had taken a saw to it. Cut the tail here. I like to make a small incision so I can see the spine of the animal. For our cut, we went went to the top, now we're going to do a 90 degree right into the spine. Make sure we find the spine, get all the meat. And here is what we call the top loin of the tuna. So what we're looking at here is the spine of the fish, right here is the bloodline. Here is the incision that we made three fingers back from the collar to bleed the fish. This helps with better quality. This is, this is the good meat here, and you got better meat there at the bottom. Now we're gonna get into the real fatty part of the fish. So once again, I'll start the tail, make a real small incision right down the middle. Sharp blade always does, does wonders, especially for big tuna. You got bones, you're, you, you hit big chunks of meat. So now, I'll come back here to the tail and I'll work my way back towards the head of the fish. I'll go in with my tip of my blade and I'll find the bone, the spine, and I'll run my blade in one sweep cut all the way to the head. Making sure that I'm not poking through the top part of the meat. There's a cavity in here that we'll start, we'll start at. You can hear me crunching the bone. So you can see this is all beautiful toro, beautiful fatty meat, some of the best, best part of the fish. I'll then turn the fish back around. I'm going to cut a small piece of this bloodline away just so I can expose the spine. Then I'm going to finish my cut. You can see the difference between the bloodline and the good eating meat. There's actually a bone that runs completely down here, 90 degrees from the main spine. I will now make my cut from the tail through the mid, mid section of the fish to the head. Another reason why you'll need a sharp blade is because you'll hear bones the entire time. Now I will go through, keeping my blade pitched as far down as possible to meet with this. And then we'll take this whole bottom loin right off. This is a little tougher to get in one clean sweep but it is possible. It's nice to have a good, flexible blade for this. I'm gonna break now back into the opposite side of that cavity and finish my cut. Here is the bottom loin. Got some trimming to do, but the bottom loin is all for one piece. So I already have this cut here, so I'm gonna keep on this side I'm going to take my knife and try to follow the spine down and separate those bones from that bottom and top loin. So I'll start here at the head and just slowly work my knife in an upwards motion, making sure I can try to get all in one. Cut. No 
be afraid to leave a little bone you can trim for after. And I'll do the same thing. Spine with these lateral bones and try to separate it from that bottom knee. And you almost want to see your knife through each of those riblets. Now that I've separated these ribs from the meat, I'm now going to flip the fish over and make that long incision cut to separate the top loin and the bottom loin. But first, we'll take this collar off. If you want to, you can, from the start, take both collars off and then continue your cutting. But I like to work from one side to the other. So once again, back of that collar. Right to the head. Then following that bone down, all the way down its throat. Once again, there's a collar on that side. I was able to actually leave a little more of that Toro on the fish than on the collar like I did here. There's a line that you can see and run your knife right through it, all the way down, head to tail. So I'll start here at the head, get down till I feel that spine, and then with two hands, work my way up to the tail. Cut your tail. And there is the second top loin. So we'll start here, back at the tail. You can start at the head, but I like doing the tail. And in one clean swoop, all the way to the head. It's good to have that sharp knife because of the bones. Part of that bottom loin. Beautiful piece of meat. You can see that there's very little waste on this fish. So now I can come through with a spoon and a knife and finish this off here. Put it into a bowl and have some sushi here for the crew. But I'll just make a, a real light cut right along the spine here. Then I'll come with my knife, wanting to touch bone the entire time and fillet off the rest of this meat. And now you can even go as far as scooping in between each of the ribs. Just This is just a regular house spoon. Nothing too fancy, but you can see the amount of meat you do get off this fish. And these pieces are some of the some of the most tender right along the spine there. And now we can follow along the other side here. Once again, taking our knife, feeling bone the entire time. You can see how beautiful some of this meat is. The spoon is perfectly designed to get in between each of the ribs. You can actually go even further. We're not going to do it here, but you can you can take the spine and you can cut it into pieces, and you can uh, you can do a fish broth. So you're using every single part of the fish. And now we're going to flip this fish over, do it to the other side. And this is all the meat that is just off just off the ribs and the spine. And here you have it, a completely filleted and clean Big Eye Tuna.